So we are now recording our Chaos, Diversity, and Inclusion Working Group meeting on September 16, 2019. And we already started and just forgot to start the recording. So here we go. We just discussed our upcoming meeting with Angela Brown on Wednesday, and everyone is invited to join. See mailing list for details. So um, the other thing that I kicked off last week was um, collecting DNI surveys in open source. I don't know if you had a chance to look at the um, at the email or the document. Let me find it real quick. The idea is to collect DNI uh, surveys. And right now is the time to do it because the Apache Software Foundation is planning to run a survey. Mm -hmm. And so having some comparable questions, having uh, comparable data maybe would be good in preparation and so that's why I'm facilitating it right now and the idea I have is to once we agree on the general format to reach out to other groups and share this on Emma's mailing list on the open source diversity forum on the DNI mailing list at the Apache Software Foundation to get input from everyone who is involved in this um, DNI. I don't know if you have more, more ideas on where to post this or who to ask for input. Yeah, I don't know if I have any suggestions. No. But here's the Google Doc. I also posted it in the minutes. When I did my I don't know, short one hour internet scouring and going through what I already knew of the surveys. This is the list here that you see that I came up with. I don't think anyone else added anything after I released the document. Do you know of any DNI surveys that were run? Did they run any surveys for any of the any of the OpenStack work that Danny and Nicole worked on? Probably. I'm gonna find the links real quick. Call. As I was looking through here, I was wondering, hmm, I should have OpenStack gender report, but you're right, I was missing it.
And you said you already have the Apache stuff, or? Ah, uh, you see? Good call. I did not add this here. Yeah, because you mentioned it, but I don't see it in there. I know that the survey was run in 2016. Well, Gris is also doing something now, isn't, isn't she? Yeah, but it doesn't exist yet. Yeah. This is in the making. Yeah. So I know I have the link to this somewhere. I've got a link to the Apache, the issue. Oh, you have it? Uh, yeah, sort of. Um, I don't have the old one. I have the link to what she's doing right now. That would be helpful, yeah. And I'm looking for the old one. Actually, maybe that's not the right one. Scoping the survey. This is probably a better one. So obviously she'd be a good person to talk to as well about other reports that she might have reviewed in the process of the work that they've been doing. Yeah. Um, here, I found the link. And then I also have feedback on that survey. Excellent. I will share this with uh, Chris and the other groups that I mentioned earlier. So, excellent. Thank you. If you come across any more ideas, and this is for everyone, not just Don, right? <laughs> Uh, just feel free to add to the document. It's open for everyone to edit.
I thought I had another one that I, where I wanted to share this. Mm -hmm. hmm. I can't remember right now. Okay. So those were the two action items I had from last week. Looks like Matt had an action item, but he's not here. What else do we want to talk about? One thing we can do is um, revise the onboarding metric from the workshop. Don, I think we started last time right as you were heading out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was here for the first part of the discussion. Yeah. So if you all go to issue 121 and then the attached Google Doc, we had looked through the question and decided on one that is much more similar to the ones we already have in the released metrics. So the others are just crossed out and we're leaving them right now because there are some really good ideas that we want to reflect down below. And then we worked through the description and the objective. So the next. Just a nitpicky thing. Should the, should the question be do, not does? How do the onboarding process and resources? How yes. does the onboarding? Yeah, I think. And then we can make processes plural to make it even easier on the mind. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. So. We can read through the description and objectives real quick. If you see something that needs changing, we can do it, but otherwise the focus I see most beneficial would be down below in strategy, success metrics and resources. Does that sound good? Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Excellent. What is the uh, what is the connection here to leadership? Ah, oh, good question. I can make up an answer, but I don't know for sure. <laughs> well, but it, but it, it's also not in the document, right? So the the header says leadership and then onboarding, and then I read I read through the document, and there is no mention of of leadership whatsoever. So I'm wondering if if onboarding is something that uh, is not really part of leadership, or if the document needs to be edited to reflect that this is a a leadership metric. Leadership is the focus area. Mm -hmm. Perhaps this fits in a different focus area. I'm sure there are elements to onboarding that can fit in governance, some that fit in leadership, some that fit in project yeah. places. So I've, I've always had kind of a feeling that leadership could be its own because it has so much under it, it could be its own category too, or not leadership, but onboarding. Um, because there's so much that is involved with it and it's a big part of becoming a contributor to a project. Uh, I, that's my idea, but 
I think it definitely could fall under a bunch of focus series as well. Okay. Let's uh, focus on the actual metric is my uh, suggestion right. and then we can find a place for it later. Okay, it's, as far as as far as where it fits, it, it doesn't really matter to me where it fits. However, if, if it is in the leadership focus area, my point is that the document should probably reflect that. So, so if, if the focus area is leadership and then onboarding, and then we read through the document and there's not a, not a single mention of leadership. So if it stays here, that's fine with me is, is what I'm saying is just, but where is that connection to leadership in this document? Yeah, I'm sure if we had Emma on the call, she <laughs> would know because this came out of her research. Mm -hmm. And if we had her, it can probably be. Yeah. The metric. It can probably be fixed with like one or two sentences, right? Maybe. But I do think that brings up a good question about whether or not it is in the right category. And I'm not sure. I'm not sure whether it is or not on the. Because if, if we've defined leadership as identify how healthy our community leadership is, I'm not sure. I mean, if there's a tie to onboarding, it would be that leadership sort of defines the onboarding process and helps, helps onboard people, maybe. But I almost wonder if it belongs more in project and community. because you're really onboarding people to all of the places where they will do the things. I do. I think that does sound like a better fit. Although it might be worth a quick reach out to Emma to see if maybe there's something we're missing. Yeah. I think that the, um, that the metric, we can define it based on our understanding of onboarding. And then mm -hmm. with Emma's understanding, there might be a very different understanding of onboarding that would fit under leadership. Yeah, agreed. Better than what we can define. So that's why I'm saying let's define it how we understand it. And if that fits under project and community, great. And if Emma has a different input, where we can add an onboarding metric under leadership. Maybe that's a different metric. We'll just have to rename them so they are not both called onboarding. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think we can, like you said, I think we can continue and then sort out where it goes later. Yeah. Thanks for bringing it up, Kevin. Good oh. Nope, No problem. Yeah, because the way that we had rewritten it last time is a lot of focus on the materials and processes. Um, and not so much on what the people who do the onboarding do, the leadership they provide. So it could just be that in the rewrite last time, we took the focus away from leadership. Mm -hmm. Could be. Yeah. I think response time and uh, might be loosely connected. It's part of as part of like reception, how people are received when they join a project. The, the initial response time that they get when they try to join a group often uh, affects the entire onboarding process or, or whether they stay with the project. Yeah. So a lot of these strategies here are related to how to do good onboarding, we have to rewrite them to be strategies for collecting metrics. Oh. 
boundary for for onboarding? Does this also include path to leadership, or is this just when joining a project initially? Sorry, can you ask the question again? What is the what is the boundary for onboarding? Does this does this also include path to leadership, or is this just when joining the group initially? Hmm. Is there a specific section of the document that this is relevant to? That this sparked your question? Uh, it just doesn't, it doesn't seem to be defined in the document. So it's, it's kind of open. Yeah. Right. So, I mean, generally, if you think of onboarding, you think of it as just the, that initial reception, like, like, welcome, here's the stuff, here's a mentor. Oh, now you know what you're doing. We're done. Uh, yeah. However, that's if onboarding is directed at joining a group. You can you can onboard anytime you move positions, right? So onboarding can encompass joining the group and path to leadership if we if we wanted it to, although path to leadership might be its own uh, metric. So I'm just I'm just curious where the if there are thoughts on the boundary as it sits now. Are we just talking about the initial joining of a project. That's what I'm thinking about. Okay. Do you think if I add, if we add at the in the description, onboarding does not include concerns of uh, what do, what are we calling it? Leadership ladder. Path path to leadership. Okay, I I added a sentence. Onboarding does not include concerns of path to leadership, which is a separate metric. Okay. Yeah. I think that's fair. Is that actually a separate metric? Yeah. If not, it should be, probably. I want to say it's a separate metric. This is already exist is what I what I meant. Have we defined it? I don't think so. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see, would this be in governance? Path to influence is what we call it. Are you recording? Yes, we can stop the recording. 
I think this is not very interesting. <laughs> I'm going to put it anyway. So I'm stopping.